The tax bills continue to roll in and the cost of operating Chicago Public Schools continues to climb, even though attendance has dropped every year over the last decade. Chris Ty explains what has to happen to reverse that trend. It's expenses are going up while its enrollment is going down. That's a big challenge. They need to reverse that trend. It's a trend that just wouldn't work in the private sector. Every year, taxpayers are paying more through property tax to Chicago public schools, hundreds of millions more over six years. While at the same time, the number of students enrolled in the district has dropped every year, 60,000 fewer than six years ago. We're also seeing lower birth rates, uh, so we're seeing less children coming into the elementary schools, and we are seeing more children moving out of the city. Despite the mass exodus, Chicago Public Schools chose to increase their property tax levy by 5%. The which is the max. Is the maximum under state law and is the largest in decades. Chicago property tax bill payers are feeling it and will continue to feel it, says Lawrence Massal of the Civic Federation. That is, until they're allowed to cut costs by closing schools with plummeting attendance, an option currently unavailable for the CPS CEO for the next several years. The handcuffs include he can't close any schools. He can't make the district really more efficient until this new school board, which is not going to be seated, a 21-member school board, um, for two more years, he can't close any schools. We have unnecessary sunken expenses. Also adding to heightened costs, teachers who've negotiated higher salaries and COVID costs still being paid out. What's not at play? Inflation. This year's costs are a reflection of last year's budgeting, which didn't factor in inflation. All that being said, there is hope. We've seen some very positive things from the school district in the last two years. Their financial condition has improved. Missal gives the new CPS CEO who inherited much of this high marks. He says he is borrowing less money for their budget and putting more in the reserves than at any time in recent memory. At CPS headquarters, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.